gonna walk down through my dad's collection here. I'll be damned if I can remember all the years of these off the top of my head. Remember a couple of them, but I'm gonna write in the description. You guys will see it somewhere right here at this point. Year and model. This one's a C. 1944, I believe. I'll probably be wrong though. You'll know. Six volt original. A couple of little things to finish up. The CA. This one has a snap couplet. It's also got uh, gears, brackets, took up the original fertilizer bends, which we have the fertilizer bends up in the shed. Change the runner. Here is another CA, minus the snap coupler on this one. For the fertilizer boxes on this. Anybody tell me what that's for? Kind of cool. Well, I'll just tell you, for milking cows, running a pump. Some of you guys might have known that already, but I bet you some of you don't. The WD. Don't mind the 18428s on it. We don't use this much. Two row Alice Chalmers planter. Which the fertilizer bins um, that mount on the cultivator there mount right onto these brackets here. Run off of the chain and everything. Kind of neat. How stuff was interchangeable back then. Just a WD. Nothing special here. Here's our D14. I keep saying R. These are all dad's tractors, my dad's tractors, uh, with the exception of this one and one of the. Uh, 7060s down there, we'll get to that later. Alright. There's our 615. Modeled off of a D15. Well, started life, however you want to say it. Series 2 D15. Um, we've got the power crater engine in there. This thing has got weights everywhere. Shuttle clutch, forward and reverse. A little different. Look down here, it's got the same shifting pattern. It's like the D14 would have, the D15 obviously. But they literally just ground the reverse off of there. For the shuttle clutch, forward and reverse instead of high and low. Some of you guys haven't seen it. Sorry about this wind, we got a good storm. Looks like it's coming in. It's wonderful. They literally just ground that off of there. Kind of neat how they did that. Loader, no, excuse me, loader bucket was extended for snow. This is the story I got from the previous owner. Really neat 
tractor, hydrostatic steering, live hydraulics for the loader. Really nice drive this one. All right, here we go into WD-45. 18.426s. These are just a set of pulling tires. There's usually 16.928s on this. Um, and actually this year we had a four row cultivator on it. We put 14.928s on it just so we had to get ourselves a little bit away from the corn that way. These are the pulling tires though. Notice, no serial number on that block. All right. Oh, another thing about this. Yep. We have a diesel engine that's going to be going into this chassis. Hopefully over the winter. Right there. Is the chassis that this engine is going into. So that'll make number 17 for Dad. Here is uh, the diesel D17. Series 3 gas D17. This has got the big bore M&W crater pistons. Other than that, it's all original. to the Series 4 D17. It's the one I generally cultivate with. It's still got the cultivating bracket on there. There's no point in taking it off. The main thing it gets used for. I'll probably run the auger with it. A couple other little things too. But Gotta have an umbrella stand when you're cultivating. Alright. Come over here. The gas D19. Pretty much all original here too. That's not original. Sixteen nine thirty fours on that one. We have the arms for it. And we come over here. This is our modified D19 diesel. Started life as a gas D19. Uh, now, however, we've uh, fit a 433i in there. 
anybody not familiar with that engine, uh, they put them in the F3s. Maybe some of the late F2s. I'm not. I'm not exactly positive about that. Um, but I guess the most uh, commonly known application was in the 6080. So. Spool over here is broke. I don't care. It's going to be getting uh, over the winter. It's going to be getting live hydraulics. Uh, 190 pump out here. Since this came off of a combine, I got a. I have them. I got to switch the timing gears and be a uh, hardened timing gears to be able to run the pump. A couple day project. But then it's going to have hydrostatic steering, uh, live hydraulics. I don't know. I'll probably just get rid of that spool. So I haven't taken the time to fix it yet. This has got 18. 34s on it. We had set this up to go pulling with it, skinny the tires up. And we were gonna go play around, but we got rained out that day, and I didn't get to. So All right, we'll keep going down the line. Here's the 190 XT Series Three. Grandpa bought this tractor brand new. With a five bottom plow, five sixteens. He's a talk of the neighborhood when he bought this tractor. Imagine how pretty it was back then too. All nice bright shiny orange. It had five bottom plow behind it. And then they said when he went out into the field, all he had to do was follow this cloud of smoke and figure out where he was. It was quite a spectacle in the neighborhood. Story goes, this tractor plows circles around the 4020 that my uncle had. Well, he didn't have it. The dealer brought out a, a demonstration model, and they brought it to the same field that Grandpa was plowing with the 190. Uh, brought the same plow, 516s, and I guess Grandpa just just plowed that 4020 under. So anyway, long story short, there was never any 4020s or 10s in our neighborhood. You just didn't see them, and you still don't. So it's kind of, that's the story about this 190. Showing another color what was business was. All right, Here we get into the big ponies. This one here is another, is uh, the second tractor of mine. Alice Chalmers 7060. This is actually a 7060 chassis with a 301 engine in it. So it's more like a 70-20-60 or whatever you want to call it. Nice fuel efficient cab tractor. Really. That's out of a M2. That's, matter of fact, it's the same engine that's in that combine there. It's identical, 2900, 301. Uh, about 135 horse was where the pump's set. It's got a new interior in it, new floor. Um, you see the air conditioning pump. That's gonna be getting taken care of soon, I hope. It'll be getting taken care of before next summer, let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, we flip it around. We've got an actual 7060. This one's original. It's got the 426, 192 horsepower pump set. I got a set of duels that I put on here. I really enjoy this tractor. There's only a couple of things we need that much horsepower, but it's fun getting a big block out when you get the. LEDs up there, which that one will be getting LEDs on it too. Just so many projects, where does it end and where do you begin? And the answer is it doesn't end and pick a place. Seven foot brush hog.
This one needs an interior. We have the interior in the uh, in the garage there. I just need to install it. Kind of a pain in the ass, really. One of my least favorite things to do. All right, then we turn around and we got a little rusty. Uh, I guess I didn't mention both of these 7060s are power shifts. Um, this one here is a power director. It's got the 426. This one's getting a complete overhaul this winter. One thing I like about it, it's got the emblem there. I know them don't have the emblem. I'm going to hunt them down and put them in there because I think it looks nice. I need a door. Needs a door. You can see this thing was rusted out bad. I this whole section of floor. I actually put that in. Um, and it's up the side. You can actually see where I welded to all the way down the side of it. This whole this was all just nothing left of it. You know, added that all new and rebuilt this so that the cab wasn't in danger of falling off, it felt like. You can see the supports that I put in over here. The supports that I put in over here. This thing was a rusty mess, but um, the rear end in it's really strong. It seems really good. doesn't do the knocking. And, um, we've got, by the time I'm done overhauling it, we'll have less than what the tires are worth into it. So. I figured it's worth overhauling. Right now it's got about 90 horse if it's lucky. Pump is set at 192. And I'm not exaggerating either, 90 horse. Hopefully by next spring though, I'll be showing you videos of this one running strong with the plow. Other than that, all of these are pretty much turnkey. It's been a long road getting them to that point. There they are. Now on the farm, um, my brother farms the same farm here. He's got uh, a WD, a D17, and a 7020 that aren't here in the videos. But that makes uh, 19 tractors, and then he's got a combine as well. 19 tractors and two combines. All outs chalmers. There you go.